COP26 in Glasgow, there's no underestimating the scale of this climate summit. But what's at stake, greater still, and the negotiations difficult. The host greeting dozens of world leaders, working in tandem with old reliable allies no longer enough. The PM with a pointed warning. If Glasgow fails, it all fails. It's possible that there's only one civilization in the Milky Way galaxy. The responsibility weighs heavily on these leaders, the world's in their hands, and he knows that. Look at his face. It's one minute to midnight on that doomsday clock, and we need to act now. If we don't get serious about climate change today, it will be too late for our children to do so tomorrow. Decisions made here in the next two weeks will decide the future for generations to come. On this, the President of the European Commission telling me she agrees with the PM. How much is at stake here and how confident are you that we can make real progress on climate change? This is a moment of truth and we really have to step up. Um, it was good that G20 came up with a united position of 1.5 degrees Celsius we want to reach and the climate finance because the G20 are 80% of the emitters worldwide. But now we have to get concrete because action has to happen now in this decade. And it has been for many decades, generations even, that the royal family has campaigned for climate change. Tonight, Her Majesty the Queen, unable to be in Glasgow in person on doctor's advice, sent a message of encouragement. It is a source of great pride to me that the leading role my husband played in encouraging people to protect our fragile planet lives on through the work of our eldest son, Charles, and his eldest son, William. I could not be more proud of them. I, for one, hope that this conference will be one of those rare occasions where everyone will have the chance to rise above the politics of the moment and achieve true statesmanship. Not only is this a gigantic summit, it's also a giant pressure pot in which the world's biggest polluters come face to face with the countries dealing with the consequences whose very existence is threatened by global warming. The leaders who are here hope that in the next two weeks they can agree concrete actions to truly begin to tackle climate change. But they need Russia, Brazil and China to step up and those leaders aren't here. Prime Minister Modi of India has at least turned up, but he's perhaps not stepped up enough. The world's third biggest emitter committing to net zero, but not for five more decades. Worst, 2070, By 2070, India will achieve the target of net zero emissions. India also calling on rich countries to provide $1 trillion in climate finance to developing countries. The US president says he's already doing his bit. The United States will be able to meet the ambitious target I set in the Leaders' Summit in Climate back in April, reducing US emissions by 50 to 52 percent below 2005 levels by 2030. We'll demonstrate to the world, the United States is not only back at the table, but hopefully leading by the power of our example. Day one and thumbs up as this leader at least puts forward a concrete plan. Every little helps, but differences remain. And with China still missing in action, Team World still struggling. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Glasgow.